My name is Tony. I am the founder and CEO of FlyShare. I'm going to talk to you today about aviation and aeronautics. Um, it's a really great time to be involved in aviation and aeronautics because there's a tremendous amount of innovation going on. We're in what is the third golden age of aviation, and I haven't seen this much innovation in aviation for at least 75 years. So we're seeing supersonic flight, we're going back to the moon, we see electric aviation, we see autonomous aviation, we see vertical aviation. It's a great time to be in aviation, there's a lot of innovation going on. FlyShare is going to be using the world's most advanced fuels and the world's most advanced aviation power plants to launch the cleanest airline in the sky. So what is our mission? FlyShare's mission is a big one. We want to decarbonize aviation. We want to decarbonize aviation while offering a premium service, offering new aviation services, and doing all of that at a much, much lower operating cost, which I will explain. So that's our mission. I want to talk about how we're going to do all of that, because that's a lot to do, decarbonize aviation and lower the cost of aviation, which is historically very, very high. The key is hydrogen. Hydrogen is the fuel of the future for both the American economy, but specifically for aviation. Hydrogen has uh, more energy than any other substance known to man outside of nuclear reactions. And so it's the perfect fuel for aviation. And what hydrogen does for us is two things. Number one, hydrogen decarbonizes aviation because when hydrogen is oxidized, the only byproduct is water. And if you look at the right-hand column on the screen there, in green, what you see is FlyShare's hydrogen operations. And you see at the very bottom that our aircraft, our flights, will have zero carbon emissions. That's a very, very big deal. Aviation is a big polluter. Aviation contributes at least 3% to U.S. Uh, global emissions, and we're going to get that number down to 0%. If you look on the left column, that's our competition. That's jets. Jets on a mission from Los Angeles to Las Vegas put more than 6,000 pounds, more than 6,000 pounds of CO2 in the atmosphere. We're going to eliminate that. It's going to be gone. Hydrogen does that. That's the first big thing that hydrogen does. The second big thing that hydrogen does is lower the cost of service. So aviation is traditionally very, very expensive. And hydrogen is going to lower the cost for two reasons. First, the U.S. government is backing the production of hydrogen to get the cost down to $1 per kilogram. That's pursuant to the Infrastructure Act that President Biden signed about a year ago. That's the first thing about hydrogen. The second thing about hydrogen is that hydrogen aviation is electric aviation. And electric aviation is one of the pillars of the future of aviation because electric motors have only one moving part. You contrast that to a jet engine which has thousands of moving parts. Thousands. So that's thousands versus one. And what that means is that the maintenance cost for hydrogen aviation is going to drop substantially. So again, if you look at the right-hand column there where you see fly share hydrogen operations, on a mission from Los Angeles to Las Vegas, it will only cost us $16 per seat. $16 per seat. And if you compare that to a comparable jet service, like JetSuite X, for example, their cost of service is an order of magnitude, 10 times higher. 10 times higher than our service, it's about $154. That's, that's disruptive. That's going to change everything. Hydrogen is going to lower the cost of aviation service, and it's going to decarbonize aviation. And that's the type of aircraft, that's the type of service that FlyShare is going to put into service. So I, I mentioned at the start that our mission is threefold, decarbonize aviation, and I talk about that. We also want to get the cost of aviation down. I talked about that. But we're going to do those two things while offering a premium flight experience. And we can offer a premium flight experience because the cost is so low. And this is what the FlyShare premium flight experience looks like. So our aircraft vendor has proposed to us the cabin that you see on the right there. Uh, that cabin is all business class. There's more than three seats of legroom in it. There's a very wide aisle. And there's going to be very uh, premium amenities that we offer that. That's the in-flight experience. The ground experience is on the left. We're going to offer our passengers a ground experience out of FBOs, which are private and semi-private air terminals. So you can forget taking your shoes off. You can forget taking your belts off. You don't have to go through the security screening. We'll do that for you in two minutes. You can arrive at the airport 15 minutes prior to your flight. You can get right onto the airplane. And we can do all of that without polluting the environment, 
and we can do it at $16 per seat. That's because of hydrogen. So the jets are our competition. I, I believe jets are a thing of the past, but right now, jets are flying, jets are polluting. What's our advantage over jets and how do we sustain it? Well, I've already talked about two of our advantages. One is zero carbon. So jets have no path to carbon, to zero carbon in the near term and in the medium term. Zero path, they can't do it. Um, jets, because they have no path to hydrogen, will never be able to lower their cost of service. Jets are stuck at $160 per seat from LA to Las Vegas forever. All of the efficiencies in jets have already been wrung out. There are no further efficiencies coming. They're stuck at that. They cannot match us. Um, and jets are big. Jets are heavy and they fly fast. And what that means is that they need long runways. So jets simply do not have access to the airports that we have access to. A couple of, of examples are the Hawthorne Airport that's right smack dab in the middle of Los Angeles and the Truckee Airport that's next to the popular um, resort destination of Lake Tahoe. We can fly our customers from the middle of LA to Lake Tahoe, and jets simply cannot match that service. And even if they could, it would be much more expensive, and it would pollute the environment. Looking at the clock there. Okay, so just real quickly about our team. Uh, we have assembled a really great team of pilots. Our pilots collectively have over 15,000 flight hours. Three of them are Argus Gold safety certified. Our larger team has dozens and dozens of years of air transport. We've already secured all FAA approvals required, and we're looking to raise um, between $750,000 and $3 million to put our first aircraft in the air. And when we do that, we're going to launch a revolution, we're going to decarbonize aviation, and we're going to get the cost of services down to $16 per seat. Thanks very much. It gives me a lot of money to play in uh, Vegas for That's poker, right? Money, yes. So when can we... Get that seat. So hydrogen, the first hydrogen aircraft is coming in about two years, but the $16 per seat is going to be here in about five years. In five years? In about five years, All yes. right. So in today's terms, it's still, you know, like $20 or something, right? In, in Sign a, me up, man. <laughs> okay. Vegas, right? Vegas. Everybody, $16, more money for gambling. <laughs> One final thing. So for, for our first five investors of $100,000, we're offering free charter flights. So you can get a free charter flight from LA to Vegas where you can gamble all of your money away.